Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to rename columns using Power Query. Now, if you have a small table, you don't really have to use Power Query to do this. this is, let's pretend this is a small table. All I need to do is select the first row, because that's the header row. Press Control H. It's going to bring up the Find and Replace window. Let's say, for example, I want to remove all, anything that has a dash between words and replace it with a space. Let's make sure that's a space. Click Replace. And now you notice it's done three replacements. These first three here are replaced. Or if I want to replace column one with something else, let's say we find the word column and we want to replace it with the word blank and with a space. Add that space there, click replace all, and it's made nine replacements, right? So that's pretty easy to do. But what if this is part of a series of steps in Power Query? Now you can do all this with some Power Query M function. So let's go into it. This is the same sheet. We've got our dashes here and our columns. I'm going to bring this into Power Query, go to data and from table and range. My table does have headers, click OK. And it's going to bring in that source from that table. And all we need to do is put in a series of M functions. We'll go to add step here at the f of x add step and all we need to do is nest some m functions together. First is the table dot transform and column names. Let's find column names. Click that and unfortunately when that happens it adds the additional table word here. Let's delete that one there. Delete that and under that we're going to do the open parentheses and we're going to reference the previous step, which is source. So type source, click on that. Now after source, comma, and then what do we want as our name generator? We're going to have, we want to replace each instance of something, right? So let's start with the first, that dash. So we're going to type each. At each instance, we're going to do a text replace. This is another function, text.replace. Let's find that re, replace, open parentheses. Now we're in that function. And we're going to see that anytime it sees a dash, we have to put that in quotes, in um, quotes. Anytime it sees a dash, O text, comma, let's move past that quote there, comma, we want to have a space. So have a space between quotes, right? Get outside of that last parentheses, press enter. And now you notice that the dash is gone here, these three. If I want to do the same thing with column one and replace anything that says column one with blank that, that I did earlier, let's enter a new step and custom one that we need to reference this in our particular M function. So it's going to be the same thing. Actually, what I should have done is just copy it. So I don't, I don't have to like press escape here. So I don't have to type it all over again. Select all of this. Control C to copy. Let's go into custom two. Control V to paste, and we need to reference custom one. Let's delete this, custom one. So we're going to reference our last step. And here I want to replace column, we want to replace that word with blank and the space. There's a space there. Get outside here in the last closing parentheses, press enter. Now you see that it says blank one. If I scroll over to the right, you have the other one say blank, 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 and click close and load, and it's going to load it into a new worksheet. So we have all that there for us. No dashes here, no dashes there, blank instead of column. Now it's small tables, and if you only do this once or twice, probably doing the find and replace is your better option to do this. But if you are doing this on a recurring basis, and or this is just part of a series of steps that you do, using Power Query is actually not a bad option to do it. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.